Off the cuff, oh, Mr. Steve Woo! Myers. Here he is, Mr. Oh, no. Steve Myers. Here we go. Get her done. Come on, big Steve. Steve, Steve. This is tough for me. I cried the day Erica was born. I cried the day Erica got accepted to grad school. I cried the day she got engaged. And I cried the day I received the bill for this wedding. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Nice! <laughs> Whoa. I'm getting off topic. But I will tell you this. If you knew how much I had to pay for that luxury restroom trailer out there, <laughs> if it weren't for a seating problem, we'd be having this reception inside of it right now. <laughs> nice! <laughs> now, for those who don't know, Erica is a speech pathologist, and I'm very proud of her. But that's not the only profession she's ever wanted to be. No, when she was a little girl in grade school, she wanted to be a pop star, <laughs> a young Britney. <laughs> And I was all for it. <laughs> so she said to me one day, Daddy, I want to be a pop star. I said, all right. You march yourself into your music class tomorrow and you tell your teacher just that. <laughs> and so she did. <laughs> the next day I come around, I come home from work and I see Erica. I say, Erica, you see your teacher? <laughs> yes, I did, Daddy. What happened? I told her I wanted to be a pop star. She said, let me hear it. I gave it my all. And what'd she say? She said, sweetheart, you need to pick a different profession. <laughs> <laughs> but Erica, she was not deterred from the spotlight. So she said to herself, if I can't be a singer, I'll be a dancer. So she took the gymnastics and the cheerleading. One day in early middle school, she had a friend over at the house. And I was in the back of the house and the phone rang. It was from the lawyer across the street. He said, if you don't get that foul music off, I'm going to call the sheriff. I said, fair enough. I'll look into it. I was like, my baby girl, she's an angel. There's got to be some kind of mistake. So I went out the garage. And no, she wasn't in the backyard. She was in the front yard with her friend, both in skimpy cheerleading outfits with the speakers turned towards the neighbors. And as I went around the corner that day, this is the exact song that was playing. And this is what I saw. Hit it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Oh, Bless her heart. Not but two years ago, she gave it one last shot. <laughs> it's classic. What's going on right here? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we she can said to herself, if I can't be a singer, and if I can't be a dancer, I'll be an artist. <laughs> here is a beautiful picture on canvas to the team. Oh my. What do you think? I think she picked the right profession. What do you think? Yeah. Awesome, man. Nice. It's a toss up. She does a very good Britney. She really does. Maybe she can do that for you later on tonight if you ask me. <laughs> Woo! Yes. I don't have to stand up here today before you and tell Erica how much I love her, how much she means to me, and how proud I am of her. Because she already knows that. 
which affords me the time to talk about Chad. <laughs> <laughs> CJ to his side of family, Chad Jr. He answers to many names. It's very convenient. <laughs> but Chad, he was seeing Erica for over a month. I never saw the guy. I go to bed at 10.30, he rolls in at 10.35. <laughs> I go to bed at 11, there he is, 11.05. <laughs> Erica was very concerned about my sleep schedule back then. <laughs> but I will tell you this, the very first time they were ever together, I was eating breakfast in the morning that next day, and she came down, and she sat next to me, and she said, Dad, I just met my future husband. <laughs> And so she did. Woo! Well, Chad, Chad, he's a laid-back dude. He's kind of soft-spoken, a man of few words. So I learned very early on with Chad, actions speak louder than words. For instance, how did I know he loved my daughter? It wasn't because he told me. One day early on in the relationship, Erica calls him up and invites him over to dinner. He was so anxious to get to my daughter, he went over the bridge on Fruit Ridge going 17 to 30. <laughs> <laughs> and fortunately for Chad, when his car landed on the other side, there was a police car waiting on him. <laughs> I'm not going to go into details, but uh, dinner got cold for Chad that night. <laughs> Another time, not but two years ago, it was February and it was cold outside. And Chad, he was a meter reader at the time. And he was going down a busy road. And as he was going down this busy road, he sees some old guy sitting in a wheelchair by himself. Chad stopped. He went over to the guy. He says, sir, are you all right? Do you need help? The guy can't even talk. He just points across the road with his eyes. So Chad, he went across the road and started knocking on doors. And he knocked on the door and a lady answers. He says, do you know that guy across the street in the wheelchair? She says, oh yeah, he's fine. He's just getting some fresh air. <laughs> Chad says, his eyes didn't say he's getting fresh air. But that's not the point. The point is, how many cars passed that guy that day? 10, 50, 100? How many passed that guy? Yet Chad stopped. What does that tell me? It tells me Chad has compassion for fellow mankind. So if he'll do that for someone he doesn't even know, what will he do for my daughter? I feel really good about that. One last thing about Chad. Chad had wanted a surprise engagement. And the plan was he was going to pick Erica up and take her to the movie. And the movie let out. He was going to come back to our house, and there would be some friends and family there. We are going to surprise Erica, and he popped a question. And it was very stressful for Chad, organizing it, and trying to keep Erica from finding out about it, and so forth. So finally, the day got here. And I remember texting Chad in the morning. And I said, Chad, it's just about over. All you've got to do is act normal. Play it cool <laughs> like it's any other day. He responds back, no problem. <laughs> That afternoon comes. He picks her up. They go to the movie. The movie lets out. And they're coming home, heading to our house. And Chad, every minute or two, out of nowhere, keeps going, Ugh! <laughs> 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 just got to think of something like, who is this guy? <laughs> so Chad, I got to ask you. Is that acting normal? <laughs> Is that playing it cool? <laughs> As many people here know, I think, my family's been through a tough period. Erica was accepted to the University of Arkansas first round for grad school. She was going there. She found a roommate. She knew where she was going to live. It was a dumb deal. And then, at the very end of the summer, off a secondary call list, she gets a call from Indiana State, wanting to know if she would like to go there instead. 
she accepted, and tragedy struck. Jill and I, we needed Erica. Erica needed us, and Erica needed Chad. And I have several examples that follow I won't get into. All I want to say is this, and anyone in here who's ever experienced a tragedy would understand me, that when you need something, when you really need something, he will not let you down. Amen. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my beautiful wife, Jill, for raising a wonderful daughter. Thank you so much. I love you. Jill's the strongest person I ever met in my life. And on her behalf, we would like to thank each and every one of you for coming here tonight and celebrating this wonderful day with us. And before I propose my, po my toast, I'd like to share one last thing. Erica was a little girl. She came and visited me at work one day. She said, Daddy, I made you something. I said, that's great. What did you make? And she handed me this trunk. And on the front of the drawing, it says, I love you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I read that, it just makes me laugh. She's never called me Steve my entire life. <laughs> really I love nice. you too, Eric. <laughs> but it's not what she put on the front as to why I've kept it with me at work every day for over 20 years until today. It's what she put on the back that touched me. And it's simply a picture of a flower. And it says, let's grow together. Oh, awesome. <laughs> that we have, America. That we have. And now I'd like to propose a toast to Chad and Erica. May you two grow together, and may all your wishes and dreams come true. Salud. Awesome. Nice job. Nice job. Awesome.